Hello everyone and welcome back to Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Last time we took on our Gameth the Mizutsune Urgents and now we'll be moving on into our high rank key quests. First quest we want to take is Master of the Molten Deep as a hunting and Ignector. Now I have that Mizutsune parasol equipped and we'll go ahead and eat our meal. If nothing else we'll at least have Slugger. We'll look through and see if we have anything better though. We do not. So we'll take Slugger real quick and we'll head off on the quest. Alright, we're in the Volcanic Hollow, and we're going to go right into Area 8. I don't know if we've been here before. I think we have. Yeah, we've kind of Gurga here, so yeah, we have. But now we have a new monster to hunt, and this will be an Agnector. He's a Leviathan, like the Geocris and the Royal Ludra. And if you look at him, he has a lot of black spots on his body, and those are very, very hard spots. They're going to make you bounce if you try to attack them, but if he applies any sort of heat to it, whether from his own attacks or digging in the ground, it'll kind of warm up those spots. You saw him use a heat beam there, and that warmed up his little chest and his mouth, but when he digs, he'll start up, or it'll start melting that little lava on his, or on the rest of his body, if I can speak. Now he's pretty much just going to do the regular revive and stuff. He has a beak though, so he'll peck too. But we're pretty much just going for the chest or the head. The head is going to be the best. But if the chest is for some reason softer than, or softened before the head is, then go for the chest. Also, the chest is way easier to hit. They're both weak points though. Now this guy, you want to be careful about his little charges. They can be deceptive. Sometimes they won't hit you and sometimes they will. Just try to avoid into it. That'll be the safest thing to do. Here comes a heat beam. Sometimes he'll move that to the left or right. You'll just have to watch for the tail. Looks like he's repositioning down here. Almost got our big boomerangs. There we go. Looks like he'll do an attack so we'll get out of the way. Aim for that chest. There you go. There's a heat beam. We'll do some spins. There we go. Got some good damage on the head there. You can break the lava off. So once that breaks off, it'll just permanently have the softened hit zone, which is always nice. So just focus on one part if you want. I've had that roar. Just spin here. He's just pecking at the ground now. Another good place to attack are his arms. They're not a weak point, but they still do give you topples if you break the lava off. Kind of ran into that there. That was greedy. Do the soothing roll here just to get through it. Need a little bit more health too. Do a side sweep there. Or hip check. Do a spin here. Got a little chip damage, unfortunately, from that. He's pecking. A little peck attack softens his beak, so that'll be a good place to go for right now since Circle's body is um, not softened. Got hit by those pecks, that's unfortunate. Also, these are rocked or are very annoying. If you want to, it wouldn't be a bad idea to just get rid of them, especially since cats have kind of a stationary playstyle when they attack, and if an rocker just comes up right under you while you're trying to do your main DPS, it cannot end well. Got our demon horn from a friend there. He's out of the ground. That will cause tremor, so try to evade into it if you're close enough. If you are it. And there's that eruptor coming up from the ground. Very annoying. Do a spin here. Trying to evade this hip check. Do a spin after our lunge. Get some damage off. There's a tackle. That comes out very, very early, so try and evade that with a little prediction because it's very deceptive. We're gonna do some of our free soothing rolls. So that's gonna be nice. Going, looks like a heat beam coming out. So we'll be fine, just keep going here. All the way up to full. There's my doctor getting in our way again. Looks like we need our piercing and our big boomerang, so we'll really apply both of them. That lower gauge cost is always nice to have. There's a tackle, we'll just divide into it. 
try to evade into it. That was very early on that. Looks like he's digging, so we'll get some cheap shots on him while he does that, and then he'll come back out of the ground. Uh, we got hit by that, unfortunately. We need to start paying a little more attention. These ledges also can very easily mess you up. It's just an unfortunate um, side effect of Gen 4 maps. Is that, oh, well, you can mount now. Let's put ledges everywhere. By the way, he tackled there, so we're going to try and counter him after that. There's another tackle, so we'll just evade with him. Again, none of the hit zones are terrible when he's softened, or softened. But the chest and the head are going to be the best, no matter what. There's a roar. Should have evaded that. Didn't need to go in for an attack. There's a sweep. Look at that. We have the benefit of having our boomerangs not bounce, and they also pierce through to the softer parts too, so that's nice. That was unfortunate. And we got hit by the little chip walk too. All right, we'll throw one here. Evade left. <laughs> Get tripped up again. Uh. Okay, throw two there. We got a flinch. We'll throw another one. See what he does next. He's digging. Now, I don't know if you can Sonic Bomb him. I think you can. As long as you're fast enough, but that might be wrong. Uh, should have moved in closer there. I was trying to get my spin off before it came around, but it came around way too quickly for that to be plausible. All right, comes another beam. Just do a spin on his chest here. I Oh, thought we ran out of our piercing boomerangs. I guess we didn't. Looks like he's going to go up into area. Oh, it doesn't show in this area. But it's the next area after area three. So we'll climb up there. And then I will meet you there. Just notice we are very low on health. So we'll go ahead and do a couple of soothing rolls. He is exhausted though, so that's nice. And we'll have to reapply both of my buffs digging though so maybe he's not moving areas hopefully nah he's not who he does next it looks like he's coming out of the ground so we'll just divide into it get out of the way of the trimmer and we'll do some spins now of course since he's exhausted he can't use his heat beam we'll just keep going doing spins on the chest there very active while he is um, exhausted, which I know we kind of skipped the little exhaustion phase because we were having to just go to him. Which I guess smart on his part, he actually got a few zones away and was able to rest. Comes a hip check, didn't act or, or didn't react quick enough. Should have dodged forward there and I would have been fine. So heat beam, we'll go for the face while it's there. Go. Alright, he's gonna do a slide. <laughs> These are, there's an Raptor and a Rhinopolis there. Rhinopolis. I don't really remember how to pronounce that. I don't know how they're spelled. Oh well. It's coming out of the ground again. We'll evade that little charge. Looks like he's maybe doing another one. Yes, we'll just evade into that. And he's coming out of the ground. Throw our boomerangs. Get out of the way of that Raptor. Right here. There we go. We got a face break there, so that means his face will never harden again. Like that. Just throw two uncharged ones here. He's gonna shoot a heat beam. We'll do a lunge here into a spin, just so we can get some good damage off. Shouldn't have thrown my next one. Should have waited to see what he was gonna do. We'll heal. Looks like he's leaving areas again, so we'll chase him down. Okay, yeah, I was going to say we'll wait and see if he actually leaves or if he's just digging. He is leaving, though. All right, back in area eight. He's digging already. We'll see what he does. Oh, he went up there. Cool. We'll stay down here. We want the most area that we can have, or the most space we can have to move around. Is Ken be not fun to fight up there and my piercing ran out as soon as i popped my big boomerangs all right here's a heat beam 
that was my bad. I used up all my dodges all at once. I should have expected him to move that left. I was kind of thinking he would, but I thought I had an extra dodge roll and I'm ranking. All right, there's a little slide forward into a dig. I'll see where he goes. Just wait this out. It's very weight oriented fight. We'll just have to wait for him to come out of the ground and then attack him. You're rewarded with decent hit zones. But, I mean, that could be better. I don't think he has a lot of health, though. I mean, he's, he's a hiring monster, so he has a lot of health, but compared to the rest of them. Either way, we'll just go for that chest and try and break that. We'll go for the head if it's in front of us, but we'll see. Spins aren't the easiest thing to hit on the head. And you can see how annoying this guy can be since he's just popping in and out of the ground. That was bad, didn't really need to do that, but we were off cooldown quick enough to evade that hip check. All right, so let's slide forward. Probably combo it into something else, maybe. Just throw two here. Got a part break, that's good. Looks like his back, so. <laughs> and, and his chest, there we go, that's great. Guess we'll go for the arm now. I do not remember what you get for breaking all those parts. I'm sure you get something, maybe. Or maybe not. But you can obviously cut his tail if you have a cutting weapon. And yeah, pretty much almost every part on him is breakable. This spin here. Our big boomerangs, because we need those. Get out of the way of that. Just press the B button in case I needed to evade it. Get out of the way of that one. Did not get out of the way of that one. Didn't expect that. I guess it's just, yeah, good to be instinctual about it. And just be like, oh, he's popping up. Let me evade. Put a spin here. He's doing his heat beam. There we go. Ah, oh, unfortunately, got hit by that. Didn't expect to. I did try to evade there. Should have guessed smashed. Going for these arms. Just gonna slide here. We'll go for these. Uh, looks like he's cooling down though, so we'll just go back for the face and the chest. Saraptor. Being annoying. Missed my shots there. Unfortunate. Missing all of my shots. There we go not moving that left so we will just keep going in his face there come on oh we got an arm break you can still break that stuff even though it's hardened it's just not recommended because it is very very horrible hit zone we're piercing it enough though that it actually keeps breaking or actually breaks a little peck combo. We'll do a soothing roll here. Just get out of anything he can do. Got hit by that. So there he goes. He's coming out. He's going to do a heat beam so we can get in real close. Charge our boomerangs and do a spin. Fortunately, of course, our big boomerangs run out whenever we need to do our most damage. Going here. Do not know if breaking the back legs um, actually topples them. I mean, we're not really doing enough damage to go for the back legs and not suffer horribly on time. The spin here. Evade left. He's exhausted, so that's nice. Comes a hip check. I could hit the face. That would be nice. There we go. Do it again. Good. Looks like he's limping, so that's great. You know we're close to death, or he's close to death. There's a couple of soothing rolls. He's on down an area nine. That's usually the nest area. We did fight Garuga, which is kind of a weird. Um, exception where he fights in the upper areas.
on our sail, I would too. But we haven't fought in our sail yet. It's a bit of a spoiler. Evade that roar there. Alright, he's gonna roar. I got hit by rage mode. Which is fine. Doing that sweep there. Thankfully, we didn't get hit. Doing the charge, remember just to be safe. We want to charge, or sorry, not charge. Um, press B whenever he pops up. All right, we've hit the 15 minute mark and I got hit by that. Tried to press the blue button to evade, but didn't come out early enough. And the sledge, oh my goodness. Oh, I'm stunned too. We'll just do a soothing roll. Bait him out here. Oh, come on. Get out of the ground. You're not special for digging. That is Diablos' trait, and that's not very fun either. All right, evade that. He's doing a sweep, though. We'll fire big boomerangs. Okay, he's charging forward after our other cats. We'll go over here, and this would be uh, where a trap would be handy because we know he's so close to death. We could use a trap or throw it down, shake some time off the hunt. Not terribly much, but I mean, it's the trap is more than we can hold right now, so not too important. We did have our level cap raised, so that's always nice. And unfortunately, we broke the arm there while he was in an animation, he doesn't fall over. But I don't remember what level we get our next support move slot at, but I'm sure it'll be uh, Mega Boomerang. Oh, and there, there we go, he's dead. But yeah, once we get Mega Boomerang, our hunt should go a little bit quicker because we actually have a high damage option on cooldowns. So, either way, I'll grab him up. This will be our new Fire Boomerang weapon. And I'll meet you back at base. All right, we're back in the prep area. We'll go ahead and look at that weapon. We will make it if we can. But yeah, 126 boomerang attack and 22 fire boomerang. 0% affinity, but yeah, this is gonna be the best. And probably for a little bit. Go ahead and make that Ignector Scrap Plus. I can I just add it, there we go. There, that should be enough for it. And I guess we could probably make the head armor too. Oh, only made one. I'm blowing the menus right now. There we go. We'll make just a bunch of other stuff too. Why not? Okay. Now we will look at it. Make it. Uh, we'll leave it off for right now. And for the armor, it's 82. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. We're going to make this and equip it immediately. In fact, we will make as much of the scraps as we can now. There we go. Swap to our other cat. I think I will get the armor. And then we have enough for head armor, which will be given to you. Alright, there we go. A couple of other things to note about Ignactor is that once it's digging, you can use sonic bombs on it. I tried my very, very best to use um, our regular bombs on it. Could never get it to happen. But theoretically, it's supposed to work. Another thing is using a fire element weapon can weaken the fire armor and soften it, kind of like him diving in the lava. But yeah, other than that, I'll head out into the main area. And I'm going to try and cut back on how long these videos are taking because it is 15 minutes per hunt, which is getting 30 minutes if I do two monsters. And I don't want it to drag on too long. I don't want to overstay my welcome. Either way, hope you enjoyed, and please leave a comment below. Until next time, bye.